Thank you very much for downloading this featured content podcast. My name is Jeff O'Brien. You are listening to Solihull Radio. And live in the studio, I have two very special guests with me today. One is a man called Philip Cooper, uh, an amazing gentleman that we'll be hearing from a little bit later on. Richard Robinson joins me here in the studio. And uh, he, he deals with all the PR and the marketing for the Shirley Band. Now, the Shirley Band, sir, is a brass band, isn't it? It is. It's... Um, uh, 29 members mm-hmm. um, were based in um, the Solihull area. We're actually rehearsing Hockley Heath. But the Shirley Band, we've been in existence for 100 years. Wow. We were surprised to hear we haven't got any original members. No, um, right. But um, we do have some um, you know, very long-serving members, new-serving members, and um, we're really thriving. First, what they call a first-section brass band. Right. And, and that means we compete in competitions as well as do concerts. Okay, so yeah, a brass band lineup from from my um, perspective, uh, section of cornets, and and as it goes right round uh, the conductor, at finishing a, a tuba. That's right. Um, we've got um, cornets, very similar to trumpets, yep. as, as you'd expect, but a, a shorter version. Mm-hmm. Um, we've even got a, a, an instrument called the soprano cornet, which is the, in E flat, yep. and that basically means it's a high instrument. You've got um, tenor horns, Mm -hmm. which I suppose are the equivalent um, for an orchestra are the French horns, but um, very different sound. Um, You've got the euphoniums, um, again, are like baby tubers. Mm -hmm. Um, And you've got the baritone horn, which is my favourite instrument of them all because I play it. I was going to (laughs) say, you've you've wandered into the studio today with your baritone. And give us an idea of where that sits. So it's a little bit between tuba and uh, and tenor horn. That's right. Um, it's It's between euphonium. Um, it's a thinner sounding version of the euphonium, right? Um, or a warmer sounding instrument. I'd, yeah. I'd obviously say, but that. that. And then um, it's the same pitch as a trombone, right? Um, or a tenor trombone. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, we've got tenor trombones, we've got um, tubers um, in E flat, and we've got wow. E flat instruments and percussion. Of course, without percussion, it, it, percussion makes a great deal of difference in a brass band. If you were listening into uh, what we're talking about today, the, the Shirley Band is a brass band based in our local area. We've got some fantastic performances coming up, um, some in the in the next few days, haven't we? That's right. We've got um, a concert on Saturday. Yep. Um, and it's at the Dove House Theatre, mm-hmm. um, part of Langley School. It's a last night of the proms concert. Um, definitely one to um, come along to. Um, you'll probably know if you look at um, if you're watching the proms or keeping an eye on them on Saturday night. It does clash with the BBC proms on TV. The last um, night, it certainly does. Wow! But we've got our own proms, and here we are in um, you know in in Solly Hall, and we've got a guest soloist. Very exciting, um, a, a woman called Helen Varley. She's a international tenor horn virtuoso. Right. Um, she plays solo horn at the Graham Thorpe Colliery Band, stars of the film Brast Off. Yep. Um, she's a tutor at the Birmingham Conservatoire, the Music College. She's a tutor at the Royal Northern College of Music, tutor at Cheatham's College of Music. She's right. one of the best musicians going. So, and it's a bit of a coup for you to uh, to get Helen to yeah, come and play? Yeah, very, very exciting. Um, you know, we've, we've, last year we had um, a guy called Mark Wilkinson. He was principal yep. cornet player of the Phones Band, which is... Um, actually was champion brass band of Great Britain last year Mm -hmm. Um, and this year we've got Helen Varley so we've just got to see who we're going to get for next year I'm just having a sneaky look at the programme and you finish with uh, some Elgar don't you in exactly the same way as the as the TV proms that's right I mean you can't see me um, because I'm on radio but I've got a flag here which I'll be waving in a moment Um, and we expect people in the audience to be waving we've got song sheets for them to be singing Um, it's all the traditional numbers you'd expect from last night of the proms. Uh, um, even a t- tiny little bit of pop in there as well. That's right. Um, Bohemian Rhapsody. That's right. Okay, let me move on and have a quick chat with Philip. Now, Philip, would it be right to say, Phil, uh, that you've been in the band quite a while? About 53 years. 53 years of playing. And your instrument, sir, is? It's a cornet. A cornet. I played the thir- in the third cornet Third section. cornet. So you're a little... F- Sort of almost opposite the conductor. Uh, yeah. Yes, diagonally. Diagonally on. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And to his left. To his left, that's right. And, and tell me a little bit about um, your experiences in the Shirley Band, please. Oh. Experiences. Well, the, the band have done uh, lots of things. We've um, had uh, an exchange visit with a band from Germany. Um, 
place called Ham, mm-hmm. and the uh, the band come from Verriers in Ham. Uh, they're a church band, and over there they're called a Pasaunan Corps, which I think translates into trombone choir. I think that sounds good. Not very good at German. No, no. Um, and we've had a relation and exchanges with them for oh, a period of about six or eight years. Okay, so you go um, over. We go over there one year. A couple of years later, they come mm-hmm. over here. Then two years later, we went yeah. over there, and so on and so on. Brilliant um, stuff. And we're still in contact with uh, some of the members, although we we haven't sort of been on an exchange visit for. 15 years or more. Okay. Um, what made you join the band all those years ago? I was encouraged to join by my father-in-law. Excellent. The reason he wanted me to join is because although I'd played as a, a lad mm. on a trumpet, I learned a trumpet, started about 12, I stopped when I left school, as a lot of people do. Uh, didn't play. He re- he knew that, and because the band was short of players, he said, "Well, why don't you consider coming along to join us?" And I did, and I was about uh, twenty-seven years old, and joined, and uh, stayed there ever since. And and now you're thirty-five. You've enjoyed all of those years. Yes. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's, right. that's right. No, brilliant stuff. Now you um, play a cornet. Richard, um, Richard, for me, my uh, my favourite is a flugelhorn. Ah, oh, yes, we I, have a flugelhorn player as well. I like that. the one instrument I missed out actually yeah, in the yeah. roundup of instruments. Yes, yeah. I um, I really like the flugel. It's so warm, um, and that sort of sound it really gives to that sound of a brass band, and that's what gives you the tingles when you're listening to a good quality brass band. When, when do you rehearse, by the way, Richard? Um, our usual rehearsals are Wednesday and Friday evenings. Right. Um, we have extra ones if we're doing uh, uh, entering a composition. Mm. So that, that's yeah, that's our usual when, and schedule. Uh, are they um, relatively close? Yes, um, it tends to be in the Hockley Heath area. Okay, um, but we sometimes rehearse in other locations as well, and they're two hours long. Right. So um, when you started, yeah. Philip, sorry, uh, Richard, when you started, you'd obviously played the trumpet and, and things like that so you could read and you can get by and you could uh, y- you had some of those skills. How are you seeing the new people coming into the band now? Are you, are you in, uh, attracting the newer, younger players into, into the band? How, how are they coming in? Very. They come in because of personal contact. Mm. Um, I, I don't think we've had anybody approach us to uh, ask if they could join. Mm. I think it's all done by uh, knowing someone who actually is learning to play and then we invite them to join. Um, Unfortunately, the younger generation are not taking up uh, brass instruments on a regular basis. Sure. Um, I don't really know why. can only think that they don't get uh, instant results. That's right. Because it takes time mm-hmm. to uh, to develop the skills. That's right. And it is a big skill set, isn't it? It's not yeah. only just having the motor memory to uh, to get to the notes, it's also the tone and things like tone that. Tone development. Tone is, uh, takes a long yes, time, it takes doesn't it? takes a long time. Yeah. And, and especially uh, being part of that brass band tone as well, you have to be there. Yeah. Do you have, like, entry requirements? Or if somebody's just started you know, grade one, grade two trumpet at school, do you say, well, come back when you've just done your five and then... We do t- um, We do have a, a standard. I mentioned, uh, I touched on earlier that we are in a first section. Yeah. Um, and so there are championship, first, second, third, fourth mm-hmm. divisions. Mm. So we have to have players who are of a particular standard, but we are quite keen to encourage those who can... Um, you know, basically, you know, incre- um, improve their standard. Sure. We had... Um, a lad um, with us um, only last year um, who, who left us last year and he started the Royal Northern College of Music and that was after a period of um, having played in the local youth band he came to us um, we were help, you know, helping him, him basically That's improve right. his standard yeah. and he's gone, gone off we've had another girl in the last few months gone off to Cheatham School of Music yep. um, again Shirley Band was part of that um, 
almost like d- so, helping yeah, to develop. It's a, it's the a really good apprenticeship, isn't it? It's a great apprenticeship. Yeah, great, uh, great apprenticeship. So on the fourteenth of September, seven o'clock at the Dove House. If we want to come and see your band and uh, the Shirley Band play. You, obviously, both of you will be there. How do we go about getting some tickets and uh, and finding out a little bit more? Do you have a website and a social media? We presence? have a website where tickets are available online, yeah. mm-hmm. um, which is shirleyband.org.uk. Okay. You can also um, call me on 0772 555 1374. Okay. We'll um, ticket, up on the website. Tickets are available on the door. Go ahead. Philip. The other thing that is that to try to encourage younger people. Yeah. Uh, if anyone under the age of 12 wants to go to the concert, it's free. There you go. So, yeah, so if you're it, reaching if, out to the youngsters. Right. If yeah. any, any of the parents want to take the children, um, yeah. the cost of four tickets maybe, if they're taking two children, it appears a bit mm. expensive, then it can re- reduce it. I, I agree. Now, you are obviously incredibly proficient players. Have you not thought about uh, a starter band? So movie, it, having that gap... Bridged between yeah, we, the the local things, we and did have a star, a junior band, junior band, yeah. Time, the the problem is getting the the people to uh, conduct it and put the time in. Mm. It's big uh, effort, isn't it's it? It's a big effort. Also, the uh, the cost of um, hiring a rehearsal room. Mm. Uh, one of the reasons we're in Hockley Heath at the moment is because of the expense of. Rehearsal rooms in Solihull. Yes, I can imagine. Yeah. Well, I might be able to talk to you a little bit about that um, uh, off air. Um, right then, so moving forwards, we've got the, the uh, last night of the proms. What can we look forward to towards the end of the year, Richard? Well, we've got a number of concerts um, coming up. This, in fact, um, there's uh, the Withal Poppy proms. Right. Um, for the British Legion. Yeah, for yeah. the Withal British Legion. Yeah. For the. Um, there's some competitions which are competing in, mm-hmm. um, one in Witchhaven, one in, um, I believe it's Oxfordshire. Oxford. Um, but also in December, we've got some um, great concerts, um, which, again, we've put, we're have put we hosting ourselves. Yeah. Um, there's a, our, annual, our second annual children's concert, um, which, is at the, which last year was really, um, well, it was, it was a sellout, which mm-hmm. was fantastic. Um, and that was on the, um, well, this year is on the 7th of December. And then in the evening, we've got a family Christmas concert. Oh, lovely. Um, and they, those two concerts are at the Baptist Church. And both of those concerts will be promoted on our website as well. Brilliant stuff. Uh, and you can find all those details on the social medias that we'll be putting out here via the station today with some photographs of uh, these wonderful chaps that have come in and they've brought their instruments as well. So uh, we'll we'll... Have, have a little look and see if you can comment. And if you're interested, why don't you get in touch with Richard or Philip or somebody else at the at the band and say, look, I've been playing for a little while. I need uh, I need a really good band that I'd like to be part of. So, and, and if I can just say um, a couple of other things. Yeah, that's sure, right. go. Um, we're on the lookout for a trombonist. Oh, right. So there you go. Any, any trombonists <laughs> out there, please do get in touch. Um and also, if, if there's any organisations or any companies who are interested in sponsoring one of our forthcoming concerts, um, please do get in touch because we're, we're always on the lookout for um, people to help um, Shirley Band, which is a self-funding band, and Solly Hull's, you know, uh, well, it's our, the, the best community band in the area. Brilliant, brilliant stuff. Well, thank you both for coming in today. I appreciate your time. And like I say, if you follow our social medias here at the station, have a little look round. And if you would like to get some tickets for an amazing last night of the proms uh, with Shirley Band in, in our local areas, just up Langley School, um, just St. Bernard's Roadway, um, very local to us. And it will support one of the best. Um, remind me what it's called, a stage one. Uh, Sec- section, section one, yeah, section one, one. Uh, our brass band That's here. Right. In our local area. And, of course, we've got two pairs of tickets to give away as well. That's right. Follow our social medias in a, in a little bit today and uh, you'll, you'll find out a little bit more about those. But can we finish with some of the Grimethorpe Colliery Band and I've gone with Forrest Gump. Lovely piece of music. Um, thanks, both of you, for uh, joining us here today at Solihull Radio. I appreciate your time. <laughs> Solihullradio.com